On this week's show, we've gone to the dogs, so to speak, as Michelle Fontaine checks out a new pet-friendly Mesa Ridge travel trailer. One of a few now on the market addressing pet owner needs and conveniences. Also, we learn what you should know and what you should have with you when traveling with pets. Later in the show, we join Jeff Johnston as he shows us around one of his favorite RVing destinations. Then, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 explain to us 10 items you should have for reliable campground connections. These stories and our carefree awning contest coming up on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is sponsored by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating over 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed captioning, where available, is sponsored by Forest River. Begin the journey. It's no secret that a lot of RVers travel with their pets, and many campgrounds are also pet friendly. RVers aren't going to leave any family member behind. The RV industry is paying attention and the new Mesa Ridge from Jayco includes a model that's a recent addition to the pet-friendly RV market. Our own Michelle Fontaine took a good look around a pet-friendly Highland Ridge and saw some interesting features. I saw and noticed this RV is pet-friendly. So we're gonna go in and take a look and Angie is gonna describe the RV for us and why it's pet friendly. Ooh. I'm Angie and I'm actually the brand manager for Highland Ranch RV and this is the 335 MVH Lite fifth wheel. Excellent, and who's this little guy? And this is Cookie. Hi Cookie. And she is already enjoying her pet friendly dishes over there which are conveniently stored underneath the refrigerator which makes it easy for her to get her food and water and also it's very easy to when you're traveling down the road you just simply slide it in place does it, it locks in and it locks in place so there's no mess no fuss mm -hmm. no nothing and of course she's like i want my food oh and this <laughs> is this is good because you can walk right around it even when it's open absolutely that's good yeah and you can just yeah have a seat okay over here we have these two oversized recliners oh. And let me tell you, oh, that's you know, nice. after a long day, you want to come in and relax and watch <sighs> TV. They have heat and massage. <laughs> Isn't Get that nice? Really? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and on a date like today, I sure could use it because it's a little cool out there. Very nice. Come here, Cook. She, you've already made a new friend. Good. Right. And this is nice that you're facing the TV. Absolutely. And you know, that's There's a lot of units where you, you get comfy and everything else and you have to look over there, you have to look over there to see the TV. Right, and it's straight in front of you, and so mm -hmm. your, your neck isn't like bent and you're not, ugh. And you got yeah. a nice little fireplace going on yeah, down yeah. Here. <laughs> And over here we do have a jackknife sofa, um, so mm -hmm. that if you have some additional guests they can stay right there. Yeah, we have this huge island kitchen over here. So you're always, you know, if you're entertaining guests and friends, you're always right there. Two plugs. I like that. Yes. Lots of outlets here. And one thing that you'll notice too is that our heat registers are not in the floor, but they're up out of the way so that poor Cookie's paws won't get stuck in the floor. They're actually up out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that lovely fur won't get into that. Absolutely. And it's much cleaner. And we have the linoleum throughout the main yeah. living areas. Yeah. So it's much easier just to clean and no our rugs. patented flush floor slides too. So you're not having to step up or anything like that. But back to this kitchen. Oh my gosh. It is a gourmet chef's dream. You've got this beautiful island right here with lots of storage. You even have a pantry over here. Great, that's, that's necessary. Yes, mm -hmm. and you've got these wonderful slide out drawers right here where yeah. I happen to keep Cookie's little treats. <laughs> Cookie, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> and of course you've also got, you know, your overhead compartment here. You've got a three burner gas stove and mm. even a 17 inch oven. Nice, How I like nice gas. is that? 
We've also got our eight cubic refrigerator, stainless steel. Mm -hmm. So Beautiful. very nice kitchen. Oh, and our residential high-rise faucet mm -hmm. with one large sink. I love this feature because I can get my big pots underneath here. I can wash cookie in this sink. <laughs> Trust me because she loves to roll around in the mud. You have a desk right here and you can put a, a TV against this wall. You've got plenty of storage right here. Yes. This converts into a bed. And if you have kids over, <gasps> this folds down actually into a bunk bed. Oh my gosh. So it's a great hiding place for kids or your office or even for adult guests. And it's, as you can see, it's very spacious. Hmm. Nice. So if you're traveling with dogs and you go like go leaving the trailer, you can actually put their kennel in here or lock them in here for safety. Absolutely. A lot of uh, a lot of people, what they do is they bring in their crates or their yes. pet beds yeah. and so forth. And this and is they have their own little space. Absolutely. Right, Cookie? The nice thing about the Highland Ridge showers is that they're all radius. You've got your shower surround here with the wand and a skylight mm -hmm. up above. So you're not doing this. No, you're able to just get in there and feel like you're at a residential shower. Mm -hmm. Plus, you also have your porcelain foot flush toilet. Porcelain. Which Good. Is, yeah, which nice, is nice. nice upgrade. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And lots of storage over here. And now in here, we have the large queen size bed with lots of storage everywhere for shirts and off to the side, you've got two nightstands with electrical plug-ins so you can plug in your phones, your tablets, whatever it may be. It's right there at your fingertips. You've got a nice full-size wardrobe slide over here for all of your hanging. And of course, if you're like me, you've got shelving over here for your shoes and sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. So again, this is Michelle from Two Gals and a Boston Brood here for Rolling On TV. And we're looking at, again, what's the model? This is the Light 335 MBH by Highland Ridge RV. Remember, own the outdoors with Highland Ridge. Pet friendly. Pet mm -hmm. friendly. Good job. <laughs> to learn more about the pet friendly Highland Ridge, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Aquacam Possums, so fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. How would you like to spend this year's RV camping season under a new Carefree of Colorado power awning? Well, you can. Together with our partners over at Carefree, we're giving away a new 2019 model Carefree power awning designed to fit your RV. And this includes free installation. To enter our contest is simple. Just visit our website at rollingontv.com and click on the Carefree Contest link where you'll find all the entry information and rules. The contest starts January 20th and runs through March 22nd, 2019. Why wait? Enter now so you can be spending this year's RV season under your new Carefree of Colorado Army. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. One reason RV travel is so popular is you can travel with your pets. Today I would like to offer some tips to help make RV travel with pets as comfortable as possible for both you and your pets. When we make campground reservations, we always check to see if it's a pet-friendly campground. Or you can call the campground in advance to check the pet policy prior to making campground reservations. Inquire if the breed or breeds of dogs you have are allowed. 
It is unfortunate, but some destinations or campgrounds you plan to visit have breed-specific legislation that bans particular breeds of dogs. Always keep in mind RVs can get extremely hot or cold inside depending on the outside temperature. Always make sure there is some type of ventilation and heat or air available when pets are left in the RV. Never leave your pets in the RV for long periods of time without checking on them periodically. Always have fresh drinking water available for your pets. You never know the quality of the drinking water when you travel, so it's a good idea to take a container of water from your home that the pets are accustomed to or use bottled water. Stock up on the brand of pet food your pet is accustomed to for the duration of your trip. Pets should always travel in a pet carrier or crate for personal safety. Update all vaccinations prior to leaving on your trip and take a proof of rabies vaccination. For extended RV trips, have your pets examined prior to leaving on your trip. Get a current health certificate from your veterinarian before traveling and take the pet's medical records with you. It's a good idea to have photographs of your pets in the event they get lost or separated from you. Take flea, tick, and heartworm medications if you'll be on extended RV trips. Add your veterinarian's regular phone number and emergency phone number to your contacts list. Get the phone number for a local veterinarian when you arrive at your destination. Your pet's collar should include identification along with basic information such as your name, address, and phone number or email address. Microchip your pets so people know how to contact you in the event your pets get lost. Take a harness, tie-out anchor, and leash or chain. Give your pets plenty of room to move, but be cautious of traffic and obstacles they could get hung or caught on. Another option is to use portable exercise pens. Make sure your pets have shade when outside and never leave your pets unattended. Always pick up after your pets and follow any rules the campground has for pet owners. Lots of pet owners enjoy taking their pets into local establishments like restaurants. You should call ahead and ask if pets are permitted and there are good resources online that you can research. Traveling with pets can be fun if you're prepared. This list doesn't cover all the information and concerns involved with traveling with your pets, but it sure is a good start. Happy camping. Forest River, we not only build great RVs, we build award-winning RVs. Check out our complete product line at forestriverinc.com. Forest River, begin the journey. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcole refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcol RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcol.com. The Lake Chelan region is a highly recommended destination for RVers traveling in north central Washington state. The lake is more than 50 miles long and is a virtual water sports nirvana for boating RVers. Whether your style runs toward a casual trolling jaunt down lake in a small inflatable fishing boat or a high-speed adrenaline rush blast in a ski boat, Lake Chelan can handle them all. Copper, gold, and silver were among the precious metals mined in the area during the 1880s, but recreation is the mainstay of the local tourist-based economy today. Bicycling, hiking, and winter sports are also popular in this area. A stroll through downtown Lake Chelan takes you past restored vintage buildings and some interesting shops and restaurants. No matter where you look, 
touches of local history can be found among the more contemporary facilities. The city has also installed regionally appropriate artwork throughout the downtown. Someone discovered the Lake Chelan climate is just right for growing grapes and now many hillsides are covered in acres of vineyards. There are 16 wineries located along the highways flanking the lake and they make for some tasty side trips in the area. You have several camping choices in the Lake Chelan area. The Lakeshore RV Park and Campground is close to downtown and offers 165 full hookup sites. Wide, well-planned access roads make for easy maneuvering and roomy campsites can handle about any size RV. A playground for the kids, lake access and a marina are part of the site's facilities. The more rustic and slower paced Kame Resort Campground is about three miles from Lake Chelan at the northwest tip of Wapato Lake. 55 water and electric sites are neatly arranged in a cottonwood grove. Ample dock space ensures RVers with fishing or general recreation boating in mind can be well accommodated and boat rentals are available. The campground store includes the usual array of food, camping and fishing supplies. RVers wishing a more rustic camping experience can check out 25 Mile Creek State Park with its 21 RV spaces, 13 full hookup and 8 with water and electric. The maximum sight length is 30 feet. Showers, restrooms, a marina and a general store are there for your convenience. Depending on the size of your RV, you can explore the surrounding back roads and be as adventurous as you want to. Or maybe not. For a bit more excitement in your Lake Chelan nightlife, there's the Mill Bay Casino and adjacent Deepwater Amphitheater. Outside, there's adequate RV parking, and inside, just what you'd expect at a casino and entertainment facility. Camping, boating, wineries, and casino action are just some of the draws in the Lake Chelan, Washington area. It's worth a trip. For more information, visit our website at rollingontv.com. Am I glad I used AquaCam? Maybe chili wasn't the best idea. AquaCam, the most powerful odor control available and the number one seller for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. When you take an RV trip, it's a good idea to be prepared for the unexpected. This is especially true when you arrive at the campground you're staying at. I could probably list 20 items that are helpful in making campground connections, but there are 10 items that will help ensure successful connections at the campground every time. Let's see what made my list. Number 10, coax cable. The majority of campgrounds you stay at will offer access to some type of cable television. I keep a 50 foot roll of coax cable in the RV and have always had enough cable to make the connection from the RV to the campground cable connector. Number 9, disposable gloves. I keep a supply of inexpensive disposable gloves on hand in the RV. They work great for all of your RV holding tank and wastewater management chores and other routine maintenance on the RV. Number 8. Water Regulator 
You never know what the water pressure will be at a campground. A water regulator helps protect your RV plumbing system from high water pressure that is common at many campgrounds. Always connect the regulator at the source of the water to regulate the pressure before it enters the drinking hose or the RV. Number seven, RV extension cord. Sometimes the RV power cord is not long enough to reach the campground electrical connection. When this happens, you need an extension cord that is compatible with the electrical system on your RV. Regular household extension cords are not rated for use with RVs. Number six, stackable leveling blocks. Some campgrounds are fairly level and some aren't. It's a good idea to keep some stackable leveling blocks on hand in the RV. When you position the RV on the site, you can use the stackable leveling blocks to level the RV and if it's a towable RV, the blocks can be used under the tongue jack, stabilizer jacks, or fifth wheel landing legs. Leveling blocks not only assist in leveling the RV, they provide solid footing when the ground is sandy, loose, or wet. Number five, water filtration. I highly recommend some type of water filtration system. There are several types of water filters available designed specifically for use with RVs. You can install an under-the-counter filter directly to a faucet you drink from, or you can use an external filtration system designed to filter all of the water going into the RV. Number four, electrical adapters. When you travel in your RV, you never know what type of electrical service will be available, and the day will come when you need an RV adapter cord to make the electrical connection at the campground. I recommend keeping several electrical adapters on hand in the RV at all times. Number three, RV drinking water hoses and regular garden hose. I recommend keeping an assortment of potable RV drinking water hoses in the RV. I keep a 25 foot and a 50 foot drinking water hose in the RV at all times so I can always reach the campground water supply. I take an ordinary garden hose for cleaning the RV and for rinsing and flushing the holding tanks. The garden hose should be green, black, or gray in color. RV drinking water hoses are normally white or blue, so the colors will help you distinguish between the two types of hoses. Number two, RV sewer hoses and adapters. I keep a 10 foot and 20 foot drain hose in the RV at all times. You never know how far you will be away from the campground sewer drain. I also recommend using heavy duty RV sewer drain hoses. They do not cost much more than a standard sewer hose and they will last much longer. RV sewer drain outlets not only come in different sizes, but some are smooth pipe while others are threaded pipe. This is why I recommend an assortment of adapters to make the connection at the campground sewer or dump station drain outlet. I keep a universal RV sewer adapter on hand that fits most smooth and threaded pipe drain outlets at the campground. Number one, surge protector for the RV. I highly recommend using some type of surge protector that will protect the RV's electrical system from possible damage. I personally use surge guard products on my RV. The surge guard I use protects the RV from faulty wiring at the campground like an open neutral, open ground, and reverse polarity. It also protects against voltage sags, surges, and spikes. The bottom line is your RV is equipped with some highly sophisticated electronics and expensive appliances that need to be protected against all of these potential threats. I mentioned earlier that there are lots of helpful products when it comes to making connections at the campground, but these are my top 10 products for consistently reliable campground connections. Happy camping. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos, stories, and RV news, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. As usual, this has been another fun production.